Coming soon to RVTV Voices, a new unit on ramping up your English, an educational support program for intermediate level English learners from all language backgrounds. So how can horses help you improve your English? Watch Ramping Up Your English to find out on channels 15 and 115 in Ashland and channel 182 on Charter Cable in Southern Oregon. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. We're studying animals so that intermediate level English learners can improve their English. Now, if you're working on bringing your English to a higher level of proficiency, you're in the right place. This is segment two of episode 41, and today we're working with farm animals. In the last segment, we had a quiz to see how many farm animals you could name in English. Now, these are vocabulary words you want to master. Now let's look at some vocabulary you just want to be aware of. Let's go beyond the basic names to specific names. So let's start here. You're familiar with the word cow. The word for a female cow that gives birth is a heifer. The baby is called a calf, and a male cow is called a bull. A chicken that lays eggs is called a hen. The babies that hatch from the eggs are called chicks. A mother pig is called a sow. All these tiny babies are called piglets. A male pig is called a boar. The word hen is also used for a mother duck. The babies are called ducklings. A male duck is called a drake. This is a mallard drake. You can distinguish the drake by its green head. Now, goats have special names. The mother goat is called a nanny goat. That was the one in the quiz. The young one is called a kid. Remember the beginning of the show? I told you that some people in my neighborhood were selling kids. They were selling baby goats. We also use the word kid for a child. And by the way, a male goat is called a billy goat. These are certainly cows, but a group of cows can be called cattle. Both of these are chickens, but the male chicken has a special name. We call it a rooster. A mother horse is called a mare. Here the mare runs with her colt. Actually, right here. And then the word sheep is used for this animal, whether it's by itself or in a group. So the picture on the left is a picture of sheep, and a sheep that has babies is called a ewe, and a baby sheep is called a lamb. Male sheep, by the way, not shown here, is called a ram. And finally, we get to the female dog. Now, technically, a mama dog is called a bitch, but you have to be careful with this word. It can also be used to offend a person. So most people don't want their children using this word. Be sure you never use the word bitch to name a person unless you're willing to pay the price for offending someone. The babies are called puppies, which is a great word to teach kids. So we have some special names for farm animals that show the role they play, their gender or their age. Now don't worry about mastering these. They can enrich your use of English if you've already mastered the basic names. All these slides will be posted on my website, letscreate.org. This ends segment two of episode 41 we'll learn about a very special farm and a wee bit of phonics when we return.